Hi quilters, I'm Erica and I'm here to show you how to use the free downloadable embroidery for our Go Bird and Birdhouse die. Now this die features eight shapes that would be very time consuming and hard to cut perfectly by hand, including the teeny tiny little eye. Now this is a six by 12 die board, so it's gonna fit in any Go cutter, cutting up to four layers of fused fabric at a time. So we've got some examples of that free embroidery and I want you to take a look at it. First, we've got our bird and you can see how perfect these are. Now, we've got a choice of three stitches for you. We've got a satin stitch, a motif stitch, and a blanket stitch. And you can see it stitches around the bird, the wing, and even that tiny eye. Next up, we've got the embroidery for our bird houses. Now again, we have the same three stitches. We've got our bird house with the satin stitch, with the motif stitch, and with our blanket stitch. And this, the satin stitch is really tight. That's great for apparel or things you're going to wash a lot. I love the motif stitch and then blanket stitch is just a classic. Now, Pam and I have a video tutorial for you with all the details about using this die. So we want to jump right into cutting out our birds and using our embroidery. So the first thing that you'll need to do is log into your account at AccuQuilt.com. You want to pull up the free downloadable embroidery for this die. Now you can find that by going to the product page, the dies product page that is, or by going to the embroidery section on the website. Both will work just the same. All you need to do is click that download button and you're done. Now you can go to your account, save that embroidery file to your computer if you want, and put it on a flash drive so that you're all ready to plug it into your embroidery machine and go. Now we have all the different embroidery formats right there for you, so you just need to pick the one that works with your machine. If you aren't sure, you can check the manual for your embroidery machine or call your machine dealer. I've got my embroidery loaded and in my machine already, so this is where you have some choices to make. There are those three stitch options. Remember the satin stitch, the blanket stitch, the motif stitch? I'm gonna go ahead and use my motif stitch. You can make the bird or the birdhouse, or you could even put them both together. Now for today, I'm just gonna make that bird and use that motif stitch. I've already gone ahead, I've gotten some white background fabric in my hoop with my stabilizer, so it's time to cut out our bird. Now, here's a pro tip about the bird. It's a directional shape. If you want it facing this way, you just need to put your fabric right side up. And to face the other way, just put it right side down. Just make sure that your shape and your embroidery are both facing the same way. So we're going to go ahead and cut our bird and a wing. Now you can always cut up to six layers of 100% cotton on our dies, but when you put the fusible on the back, that's gonna count as half a layer. So I could cut four birds. I'm just gonna cut a couple of them. And this way I'm gonna cut the bird and the wing at the same time. That way I can go ahead and mix and match my wings and my birds. I'm just doing a little bit just that one shape, so I'm using my six by six mat so I can save a little space. I'm using my Go Me because it's really easy to move out of the way when I'm done and move my embroidery equipment over here because I'm gonna need my wool mat, I'm gonna need my shovel iron, and I keep it in my mason jar. All right, let's give it a little love and let's take a look at our bird. So here we've got our birds. There he is, and our two tiny little wings, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and use our darker bird. I'm gonna use the lighter wing on it, just like that. Okay, so we're all set, we can start embroidering. Now the first thing that's going to happen is that the machine will stitch out a placement stitch so that I know exactly where to put my bird. So let's do that.
I like to go ahead and pull my hoop off of the machine and take it over to my pressing mat so that I can make sure I get my placement absolutely perfect and also so I don't melt my machine. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the backing off of my little bird. And place it right down on the shape. Well, there's that thread again. And you can see how he fits perfectly. Okay, he's all set. I can go ahead and take it back to the machine and it'll do the decorative stitch on top. Okay, so we've got our bird stitched down with our decorative stitch. Now the shape builds from the bottom up, so next is going to be the wing. We'll go ahead and do our placement stitch first. So we're going to go ahead and get those shapes placed. I'm going to cut the wing. I'm going to use a contrasting wing so we can see it, so it'll show up. And we'll fuse that down. All right, there's our little eye. And I'm going to fuse that down. Lose it. Okay. We're all set, so we can go back and finish it off. All right, and we're all done. Here we go. We've got our perfect little bird stitched out. We've got our wing and that tiny little eyeball. All embroidered, ready to fly into your new project. Now I know you're gonna enjoy using these shapes and adding them to your projects, as well as working with this free downloadable embroidery, and we would love to see what you create with them. Because at AccuQuilt, we help you cut time so you can quilt and embroider more.